hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel danny speaks tv yes 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 hey guys thank you so much for coming back thank you all for subscribing for turning on your post notifications for liking commenting sharing doing everything that you guys do to make my channel survive thank you so much for that now you guys are probably looking at the screen and she's like, and I say, oh, what should I do with them two girls like, again? <laughs> like, why are they here again? So if you follow any of us on social media, you'd see that we had asked um, some questions about, um, what was the question? What are some questions that you've always wanted to ask a church girl slash Christian? And what are some assumptions about that you have or have heard about Seventh Day Adventists. So, one of the reasons why we three, we three kings of. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so one of the reasons why we three are like I guess so close, even though we really like them, but we're not that close. It's <laughs> it's because we have a lot in common. Like we're Adventists, we're Girl. females obviously, and we're pretty. We grew up in church. Yeah, and, and that one. I mean, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of stuff in common, and so you know, it just kind of establish a common ground between the three of us. So I thought it would be fitting for us to address these questions that you guys might have. So you guys did send in your questions. Spicy one, you sure <laughs> did send in your assumptions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you sent in the, like when we talk about a man, but I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, Abigail has them on her phone, so she's gonna read them out and we're gonna take them one by one. So you're gonna want to stick around for this. Alright. Mm -hmm. Someone was saying that an assumption they made of Adventists is that all of us can sing. We give you Vegetarian. Just, we just ate Popeyes a while ago. <laughs> like I wish I could show you guys the Popeyes box, the the chew of chicken bone. Like no, we're not so, all vegetarian. All right. So the thing is, um, Adventists believe in the health message, right? right? Which is essentially, you know, trying to stay in you know, natural, um, not to the natural things, which is what God implemented in in Eden, Genesis, mm -hmm. in creation time. So that's like fruits, grains, nuts. Um, you know those things but after the flood mm -hmm. God have given us permission to eat certain flesh you can look it up in Leviticus 19 I think Leviticus oh. um, somewhere in Leviticus it kind of gives you an outline of what we can and cannot eat or what we should and should not eat right. so, yes, yeah, all we're of not, us aren't yeah we're not all vegetarians so hey, this is a question somebody wa wants to ask a church girl Mm -hmm. And this is a really good one, by the way. Okay. All right. So the person says there once was a notion that it's better to seek partners outside of church because the guys in church are just as bad. <laughs> Would you agree with the opposite of said statement? The opposite would be that 
church guys aren't as bad as those outside. <laughs> <laughs> This is tough. Woo! This is tough. <laughs> so let me go first. Yeah. Um, there's a point in my life, you see, where I I actually said that I, I'm not interested in any guys in church. Like I, I was like, yo, I'm in a care, but you know, <laughs> because I'm just as bad. Right? No, it's true to an extent that a lot of the guys in church are just as bad as the ones outside in that you know, sometimes they can they, they tend to just, you know, have an ulterior motive when it comes down to you and that ulterior motive is not necessarily good all the time. Things like that. Cheating, all of that stuff. We find that in the church as well. And you find that outside. The difference is though, the guys in the church, even though they're doing certain things that they're not supposed to do, they still have a certain moral ingrained in them. They, they, they still have, some of them, some of them still have certain morals ingrained and stuff like that. Also, also, I don't think that it's a good enough reason to decide to, to pick a partner outside of church because the ones inside are not, uh, are the same thing. I just feel like it's better to be safe inside than to go outside. That's what For me, I think that bottom line, it has to do with being unequally yoked. Whether the person, well, more than likely, if the person is outside of the church, then you will find yourself being unequally yoked. Mm -hmm. But also, I feel like we put so much emphasis on being unequally yoked with someone outside, but don't realize that you, you can, can be, be unequally, unequally yoked with someone inside. inside. Yep. So, when you're choosing a partner, think about the unequally yoked thing, and then you'll eliminate a lot of persons. And I'm telling you, you're probably going to find yourself with a nice Adventist man yeah. if you abide by everything that the Bible says. Facts. I want to add too that, like, so there's this thing with being inside the church. The, um, so here's the thing, right? Uh, humans are humans, right? And so even if somebody goes to church, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have built a relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. So even if a guy is inside the church, I'm not immediately going to just go, well, you're a church boy, you should so know better. Exactly. I mean, yeah, you should know better, fair. But like not for the time, you know, no, but like, like people are at different stages in their lives. Um, so to me, it's just a matter of inside or outside. Inside is, is still a better option better because option, yep. they're gonna, there are going to be guys who, and we're not saying all guys are the same, to be very clear. Well, I'm not saying that, right? To be very clear. So, so there's still, <laughs> so there's still going to be guys who are inside the church who are different from just your average church boy. But if I can add something to this question, though, it's rough for females in the church. Like, think about it. We're eliminating people outside the church. All right, that's a set gone. We're eliminating people in the church that's not of God, one set of people gone. It's just a handful, and we know that there are more women than not men me. in the church. So if you just have a handful, then everybody will just run towards yeah, this yeah. one handset. So. You know, don't, I una don't get to carry the boy. Yeah, so it's rough. I would say just just love just, yourself, fam. Um, like I know she probably don't agree with me, but my philosophy and relationships and them something there, it will come if it comes, you know. Exactly. But it's not a priority from yes, man. You can find a, no, right now I'm just focusing on me and loving me, and if the person comes, oh. the person comes. But she's probably gonna get married before me. But yeah, marriage, oh, marriage look nice and thing, and relationships look great. They really do. They look amazing, yeah. and I, I would love to be in one. But if God ain't have that in His plans for me, and and the thing is, I'd rather not be in a relation, not be in a relationship, than to be into a horrible relationship. Trust yeah. me, that's all. That must be into your life, you know. Yeah. I've heard like people talk about their bad experiences in their marriage and stuff like that. Yo, not it's better you don't marry than for marry wrong, fam. Always behold before you get into a mm -hmm. relationship so that you mm -hmm. don't feed off on one person. That if you don't have this person, you can't be happy at all. Yeah. It's not half make up, it's no be a whole first. So, to so Daniel Cox and everybody out there, I know relationships seem happy and stuff, but trust me, as a married lady, I've been through the, the story. All right, okay, okay. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm single. Her there? We all are. All right, next question. I think we're gonna. <coughs> 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 
I was just gonna do a really, really spicy question, but I'm gonna save it. Um, they said that SJs behave secular, more, more secular than, than people in other denominations, from my experience. I think that's a big generalization. That's, but the that's, person that's did say from their their experience, experience. Which is so, fair enough. That's very fair. Um, what do we have to say about the secularism creeping into our young people? It's a matter of people are Adventists, right? They were grown in the church, or whether or not in the church, grown in the church, whatever it is, but they're Adventists. They, they claim to be Adventists, right? The point is, people are at different places in their spiritual life. So you can experience an Adventist who is at a terrible place in their spiritual life, which means then that secularism is going to creep into their life. So they're going to go to the parties, they're going to do the drinking, they're going to do all of that, right? Under the banner of being an Adventist. The point is, everybody is at a different place in their spiritual life, and I feel like it's, it's okay for you to, you know, dub that based on your experience, but Adventist-wide? Let me just say here, based on my, my own opinion, I'm making no excuse for for your bad experience. I'm not going to justify why, yeah, different spiritual, yeah. Some people straight up just embarrass the name of Jesus Christ. And it's just sad, right? And I hope that each of us will learn to do an introspection and just to see things that we need to brush up on. Because sometimes you might think that nobody really cares or nobody are watching. You know, they are people, wa people, people are watching. watching you know? People are watching. And, yeah. and the thing is, people are watching. Yes, and, and I know that some people are at different stages of their spiritual journey. But you have some people just not care. Yeah, some, pe some people them don't the, care, period. Then that's not care. But listen, pe people are watching you and be, be careful of the friends that you have around you. So I'm, and, and here's the thing, I'm not telling you to go and do the wrong stuff and hide it. What I'm saying to you is this, people don't business, right? And people are out. So you see like what, once you have Christian on your back, <laughs> furthermore, once you have Adventist on your back, people are like, People are people are looking. Mm -hmm. People are looking out. So we just have to be careful in the streets. You know what I mean, and also, streets. you know, yeah. For I'm not. I just need to let you guys know that there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on Seven Day Adventists. No joke. And I just want you guys to know that the pressure is real because everybody is looking at us. Everybody is saying, oh. They don't like, watch every move, and sometimes I have to real, re realize that you know I'm not perfect, and uh, so my my mind is sure. Sorry, and I apologize from now. And also, uh, what I know is that people like to judge people on their past too. Mm. So maybe their their experience with that person is based on what they used to be, right. but you don't talk about the change What's that you see. No, right. no, so I'm not gonna also bash anybody to say oh whatever, whatever, whatever. just uh, uh, just acknowledge that you're wrong and just be willing to change but it's really sad that other person have that perception <coughs> of adventist but um also this is general generalization so i don't want you guys to watch this and it, say why it shouldn't it shouldn't it should never be it like the general the generalization a lot of the times is for lack of a better term, can I say unfair? I don't I don't want it to be a case where you make it an Adventist thing. Because truth is or a people thing. or a Christian thing. You understand what I mean? Because there are true Christians out there, there are real Christians out there, there are devoted Christians out there. So don't make it a Christian thing. Every single person, what regardless of the denomination, have their own relationship with God, and that is what you need to hold them accountable to not to the church or not to the denomination hold them accountable to their relationship but then again if you're an adventist and you know you had wrong fix up yourself so it's a twofold thing yeah it is, it is fix yes. up yourself but the generalization yeah oh because i want to take a, 
turn it, turn it, This is a follow up from this. This person did hurt to the distress to say, no one. Um, it's a follow up because I asked, what do you mean by sec secularism? Oh, Can okay. you be ex like specific? <laughs> person said, curse words, parties, alcoholism, gambling, the heavy secular influences in dress. Okay, let's look at that one, that one. Alright, cool. I see you're wearing pants today, you know. Yeah, I'm <laughs> resim secular. Straight to God. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, as Daniel said before, uh, everybody is at a different place in their journey. You get me? Um, so, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect. I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, Jesus has me you know, for the top of the list. I'm definitely going to be in heaven. I'm not going to sit here and do that because I've done some wrong. Okay? And I'm, I don't know if I want to get into those details right now. You What's know his saying? name? <laughs> but, but um, you know, I, like it's, to me, it's unfair. I, the same thing. It's unfair to, to judge the entire religion <laughs> based on people, based on know. the people you know. And I'm not going to act like they haven't done wrong. They've done wrong. Straight up, no, but no. but that doesn't mean that that is what the religion is. You get me? That doesn't mean that that's what everybody everybody happens to everybody. Not only that, but excuse me if I'm biblical here, right? If we recall, when Jesus was on earth, Jesus. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah. So Jesus, <laughs> right? Because he's historical. You see me? Facts. He was here and he was talking to all the wrong people mm -hmm. you get me these were the people who were i um, there somebody did it say good man <laughs> these were the people who were i always say that the um xavier Chocolate. oh, oh xavier, xavier, yeah yeah fat fat sword man yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah alcoholics gamblers there were all of these things. They Jesus came. did call the gambler them. He called. Listen to me. One of the man them. What Jesus did I walk with? When do cut off some? Cut man, off, chop off the man chop ears. off the man ear. Only for reading the Bible. Man, yeah. no come for G Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus did walk with some real yeah. thugs. So, uh, thugs. Yeah. So the thing is, I'm not saying that that's how we should be. But I'm saying that that's just the reality. Like we're human, and things are gonna happen. Our spiritual life is not gonna be where it should be all the time. Um, so I think there's some level of grace that we need from people, people outside who are watching. Yes, as I said before, we need to ensure that we're doing it right. And if we say that we're doing something wrong, we need to fix it. But we're not always going to be perfect. We are not perfect human beings. We're not angels. We're just a regular man, a child of life. For God. Yeah, and then some of those people like... You could have lived your life as close to perfection for 10 years and one, one time, time you made a mistake. Mm. Oh, you are this and that and whatever. And like, 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 to be honest, people outside are sometimes so unreasonable. And let me tell you why I said that. So if you people. ask some people, right? If you ask, if you approach on them as a Christian and say, hey, I'm inviting you to church. No, I'm going to go to church. I'll be an hypocrite in the church. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. Uh, compare that to people in the world, though. Same thing. <laughs> oh, can I just say that the church, oh, the church is a hospital. Yeah, like perfect people. Oh, let me just, let, let's just clear this up. Perfect people. Perfect people, you don't come to church to find perfect people. You come to church to find sick people who are looking to the physician to fix them. That's what you come to church for. So you don't come to so don't come don't don't not want to come to church because oh um I be a hypocrite there so and then yet still you walk up into the dance with the with 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 the with the rapper man you walk up into the dance with the gangster you walk up into the dance with the gunman you come on like the church is a place where people go to get fixing. So um, I don't know what some people thought, but it's to get fixing. It's um, not to, nah. Also, perfect people are not there. What, what I would so, add is that, yo, stay in your lane. Because if you look left and right, yo, you're going to lose your way. Oh, yeah, you step if right you on. base your salvation on other people, fam, you ain't going to make it. People going to let you down. Church leaders that you believe. You hold to the highest yeah. esteem. Oh my God. 
they're gonna let you down so make sure the only person that you take a cues from is jesus christ take your cues from him because everyone yeah. else will let you down don't even come take a cue from me me Same. will let you down don't tell no, 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 don't do you 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 it's basically on the same. I feel like this entire video will be on mm -hmm. the perfectionism of Adventists. Um, somebody said, why on to behave like set on a holier than everybody else? Uh, not us, but Adventism. Adventism. Yeah, on a holier than everybody else, but yet still as soon as church don't on a guns spread on her legs with the most unflappable straight face possible. <laughs> Why are you Fire doing emojis. Why are you doing I can't even say anything because this is probably a personal experience. And that's the thing. And that's what I'm saying. Yo, this is real life. Like, like, we're, like not, we're, we're not, we're not denying. Gonna say, yeah, we're not that denying these anything. Things these things happen. They do. They do. They shouldn't. They do happen. They shouldn't happen. Yeah. But they happen. Yeah, what yeah. I want to address is where sh where the individual says why would I behave like would I better than people? That's all. Holier than. Holier than. A lot of us do. I'm not even gonna cap. I used to do that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna cap. I used to do that like yo when I was growing up, nobody couldn't talk to me. I mean, like growing up, I was like, I got my Bible, I'm like him no. Like, like I was, first I of was all, that girl. You get first me? of all, you're do you even have fundamental beliefs? Like they, and. Your Can you Jesus? Of, come on! <laughs> and your <laughs> fundamental beliefs are not all based on the Bible, ma'am. Right, yeah, so, so you cannot talk. So I, I, was, I was that kid growing up. <laughs> you get me? Maybe up until like, I don't know, Last six? Year? No, okay, <laughs> no. Like maybe like six years ago. Let me tell you what really happened, why I stopped acting like that. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I started realizing that my life wasn't perfect. And I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. I was running up into the same walls. Obviously, other people running up in. I'm used to judge them for. You know, I'm start running up in them same wall. Ooh, like, yeah. Right. And so, so it came from a personal thing where I had to be like, no, I can't, I can't act like I'm just perfect and, and I'm all holy because that's not the reality. I'm still striving for that perfection. I'm still striving for that holiness. So people who are walking around acting like that, I'm not gonna deny that it happens because it, it happens. does. Um, but that just shouldn't be the case and it's it's likely that those people aren't very spiritual in their spiritually mature right they're not at that place yeah and i mean i'm not gonna say i can't knock them for that but as we keep on saying people are at different places in a them spiritual life and everybody has struggled you get me so yeah all right guys this video is long Obviously, we're gonna have to do a part two to this, so don't even don't even move, don't go anywhere, guys. This video is gonna end, and we're gonna start right now again. All right, guys. So remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for part two.